Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is John Amato. I'm a technical trainer with Autel. We're very excited to enter the battery tester market with new innovations that will empower technicians to address the sophisticated service needs of modern vehicles. As automotive technology advances, so do service requirements. As an industry leader in advanced diagnostics, we can incorporate our intelligence into products that set the new standard of excellence among technicians. Let's get started. The MaxiBoss BT608 represents an evolution in battery and charging system service tools. We'll do a quick rundown on the feature set before we get into more detail. The BT608 will support battery testing while both installed in the vehicle and disconnected and removed. It has the ability to execute battery registration in most cases with a single step not requiring a complex multi-step procedure. The BT-608 can also reinitialize vehicle systems that are affected by a complete power loss condition. Several vehicle systems can cease to function or function improperly, such as door locks and power windows. Autel has incorporated capability from its diagnostic tools to automatically identify the vehicle with communication through a wireless connection to the vehicle's diagnostic port or with the aid of an optical scanner that can identify the application by scanning the VIN through the windshield or on the door placard. Customers can expect thorough, detailed step-by-step -step instructions that guide the technician through the required steps to execute all of the processes available on the tool. It has the ability to print test reports with the onboard thermal printer. This can add a degree of transparency and professionalism when discussing repair requirements with customers. Autel further incorporates diagnostic intelligence into this product by including the ability to read and clear codes from all vehicle systems and view live data. The current state of the art in battery testing technology utilizes adaptive conductance testing. Let us take a minute to discuss what it is and why it provides an advantage over conventional testing methods. Conductance is a measurement of the plate surface available in the battery. This determines how much power or current the battery can supply. As a battery ages, the plate surface can sulfate or shed active material. In addition, conductance can detect cell defects, shorts, and open circuits. A low frequency alternating current is sent through the battery. This will reveal how much plate area is available to hold and deliver power. The advantages of adaptive conductance testing is that it can test batteries that are low or almost completely discharged. Traditional tests require you to charge the battery first so you can check how much of the energy storage capacity is utilized after applying what would be a full charge. Adaptive conductance testing is more accurate and faster than traditional methods. There's never a need to perform a charge and retest like we're traditionally used to. The BT-608 allows technicians a higher level of flexibility in that it's compatible with several different battery types and voltages. There are several different battery technologies that can be tested. Here's a short explanation of each type. Flooded batteries are the most common batteries on the market today. They contain a liquid electrolyte, which is a mixture of sulfuric acid and water. The plates in a lead battery contain the active material that should be continuously bathed in electrolytes while oxygen and hydrogen gas are released during charging. AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. Cushioning the ultra-thin lead plates, the glass mats will squish like a sponge. In turn, manufacturers can squeeze more glass mats and lead into a battery. More lead equals more power. These batteries can deliver powerful short bursts for starting and more capacity to handle the increased lows caused by touchscreens, seat warmers, and other driver assistance systems and electronic vehicle enhancements. Instead of flat glass mats, spiral wound cells are composed of two lead plates coated in a precise coating of lead oxide. The manufacturers claim that this design resists heat, vibrations, and humidity extremely well. The primary benefits of enhanced flooded batteries are improved charge acceptance and greater cyclic durability when operating in a reduced state of charge. 
The design is presented as a lower tier option to AGM batteries in terms of performance and durability. EFB technology relies on improvements to existing flooded technology through the addition of carbon additives in the plate manufacturing process. They are well suited to vehicles that have an engine start stop feature for increased efficiency. A gel battery, also known as a gel cell, is a VRLA battery with a gelified electrolyte. Unlike a flooded wet cell lead acid battery, this design is maintenance free and leak proof. Gel batteries are commonly used in wheelchairs, golf carts, and marine applications. They can be found in many vehicle applications as well. Now that we have provided some background information on battery technology and a brief overview of the tool, let's get into the different processes on the tool and how they're performed. This information is important in that it could be utilized by shop technicians or tool and equipment dealers to demonstrate the merits of the BT-608. We need to first establish our vehicle connection with our Bluetooth wireless VCI and identify the application. Make sure the ignition switch is in the on position and the VCI is firmly placed in the OBD2 diagnostic port. We'll then attach the test leads to the battery and tap in vehicle test. The tool will recognize the application in seconds by communication with the vehicle's electronics through the wireless VCI. If the particular vehicle can be equipped with two different batteries, the technician will be presented with both options. The label on the battery will indicate the specifics of the model and the appropriate one could be selected. The model year and level of vehicle electronics will dictate whether the diagnostic port is capable of providing information related to the vehicle, make, model, and year. As a general rule, vehicles 2002 and newer will be more capable of relaying this information to the tool than older applications. As an alternative, the BT-608's built-in optical camera is capable of identifying the vehicle by reading the VIN number on the plate behind the windshield or on the manufacturer's door placard. If there is no option for the battery, the correct specifications will populate on the screen and we'll be ready to move on to our next step. The following screens will guide the technician through the requirements to complete the test successfully and ensure that the BT-608 is configured correctly to complete a successful test. Ease of use remains of high priority for Autel and the BT-608 is no exception. Make sure the test leads are securely attached to the tool and also the correct battery terminals. The red clamp should be connected to the positive terminal and the black to the negative. The next screens establish the parameters required to begin the charging system test. We will need to ensure that certain conditions are met before continuing. Make sure all items that could cause an electrical draw are turned off. Make sure the ignition switch is in the off position and that all doors are closed. Closing the doors will prevent the dome light from illuminating and affecting the results of our test. Place a check in each box by tapping the item. We are now ready to begin a series of tests that will determine the health of the battery, alternator, and starting system. The illustration at the top of the screen indicates that we will be testing the battery as our first step. The BT-608 will be utilizing Autel's adaptive conductance technology to check the battery. The tool will provide the user with three pieces of information after the test is complete. The SOC, or state of charge, of the battery indicates the amount of energy stored in the battery relative to its capacity. The voltage indicates the difference in electrical potential between the positive and negative terminals of the battery. A greater difference in potential results in a greater voltage. A fully charged battery will typically display a voltmeter reading of about 12.6 to 12.8 volts. The measure capacity indicates a battery's energy storage capacity measured in cold cranking amps. The initial battery test is followed by a starter test. As with the battery test, the tool requires that the technician establishes certain parameters to ensure the accuracy of the results. Make sure the ignition is turned off as it should be from the prior battery test. Place a check in the box by tapping it and tap start testing. Let's move on to the starter test. You may be wondering what the starter motor has to do with the health of the battery and alternator. 
Not much, really. The reason a starting test is performed is that when cranking the engine, the starter motor places a significant load on the battery that will indicate its ability to sustain this load and how that affects the overall condition of the battery. This test will also tell us how fast the starter is cranking the engine. This is significant because if the cranking speed is too low, below 2 to 300 RPM, the crank and cam position sensors will not activate the fuel injection system. Let's start the engine when prompted by the tool. The BT-608 has indicated that the starting test was carried out successfully and reports data related to the results on the screen. We can see that the starting voltage was reduced to 11.99 volts while cranking and it took just under a second to start the motor. We'll now move on to the alternator or generator test as it is indicated on the screen. Once again, the tool will request that certain parameters are met before initiating the test. All electrical appliances or items that will place a load on the alternator are turned off so we can establish an accurate baseline for the alternator's voltage output. During this test, the tool will subject the charging system to different conditions and establish an accurate result. The alternator output voltage will be tested at idle with no additional electrical loads and at sustained higher RPMs. The test will be repeated with vehicle appliances turned on to measure the effect on the alternator's output under a load condition. We're trying to make sure that the alternator's output voltage remains in an acceptable range when subjected to these different conditions. Let's begin by turning off all electrical items in the vehicle. The tool has recorded the alternator's baseline voltage output at idle and will now ask the technician to raise the engine RPM to between 2000 and 3000 by applying light pressure to the throttle. The increase in RPM will cause the engine serpentine belt to spin faster, increasing the speed of the alternator pulley, therefore increasing the voltage output. Let's tap continue. We will repeat this test, but now, instead of having the electronic appliances off, we will turn several on, such as the blower motor, AC, headlights, and wipers, to measure the effect this has on the voltage output of the charging system. Tap continue after turning on electrical appliances. Once again, the baseline voltage has been established under the increased electrical load. We'll need to raise the RPMs to between two and 3,000 to measure the change in voltage to ensure it remains within a healthy operating range. After applying light pressure to the accelerator pedal and increasing engine speed, we'll tap continue. The following screen displayed on the right will show the results of the charging system test. We can see several parameters listed. Even after electricity is converted from AC to DC current, there is still a small amount of AC present at the alternator's output terminal. This is referred to as ripple. It's called ripple because when properly displayed on a scope screen, this AC voltage has a rippled appearance. Excessive ripple voltage can cause communication issues with networks and trigger diagnostic trouble codes in multiple modules. Offload voltage refers to the alternator's output voltage while electrical loads are turned off and load voltage referred to the alternator's output when electrical loads are turned on. The optional amp clamp will enable the BT-608 to measure the output current under both load conditions, producing both offload current and load current. These usually fall between 40 and 120 amps depending on RPM in a healthy system. Once completed, the tool will produce a complete, fully detailed test report that outlines all of the parameters of this system. The technician or shop manager has several options as to what to do with this data. It can be printed directly from the tool using the BT-608's onboard printer or emailed to a PC to be printed in PDF format. This is a valuable report that can be presented to customers to increase transparency or provide a record of the charging system tests that were performed in order to reach a diagnostic conclusion. Let's take a look at the out-of-vehicle test. 
This is a much simpler operation as there are no steps related to the starter or alternator. This test will establish the health of the battery when it is not installed in a vehicle. Once again, Autel's adaptive conductance technology is key because even if a battery is in a poor state of charge, the tool can accurately test its potential for stored energy without necessitating a recharge prior to test. This can expedite a diagnosis and more quickly achieve the sale of a replacement unit. In years past, customers would sometimes have to drop the battery off for several hours to get accurate results from a battery test. Autel's test results are instant. Ordinarily, the VCI would communicate with the vehicle to determine the year, make, model, and battery specification automatically. In the case of our out vehicle test, we will need to enter the battery specifications manually from the information printed on the label. The BT-608 will ask you to enter the battery type, capacity standard, in this case we're using cold cranking amps or CCA, and the capacity itself. Tap start testing. It will take several seconds for the tool to carry out the test. The results are displayed as good and recharge. Even though the battery was in a weakened state of charge, we were able to determine that it will perform optimally after charging. Several parameters are listed related to the test. State of charge refers to the amount of energy in the battery relative to its rated capacity. Voltage in a battery refers to the difference in electrical potential between the positive and negative terminals of the battery, typically around 12.6 volts in a healthy battery. Measure capacity refers to the number of amps stored in the battery. Battery capacity is a reference for the total number of amps that can be potentially stored in a battery of this specification. Temperature refers to the temperature of the battery. The temperature of automotive batteries can have an effect on performance. They will perform better at warmer temperatures. 80 degrees is an optimal temperature for batteries and performance can degrade slightly at lower temperatures. Battery change is another operation that you can perform with the BT-608. This feature is unique in that it will walk the technician through the steps required to successfully execute a battery replacement. You may think this sounds rudimentary, but there are new steps that don't necessarily fall into the range of established industry practices. Autel's battery change procedural steps prevent the technician from making mistakes that can have an impact on the vehicle's turnover rate and successful execution of the battery replacement. Let's start once again by making sure we're plugged into the vehicle's diagnostic port and identify the application through communication or using the optical scanner for the manufacturer's placard sticker. The vehicle information will populate on the tool. If you're unsure of the battery location, you can tap the battery location button to determine where the battery is located. Again, this may sound simple, but some European vehicles use auxiliary batteries that are found under the hood while the main is in the trunk. Some performance vehicles locate the batteries in obscure locations that provide a weight distribution advantage. Tap the next button and carefully read the guidelines provided for the battery replacement. If you look at the top of the second illustration to the right, you can see that the BT-608 breaks down battery registration into several steps in sequential order to ensure the success of the technician performing the service. Let's tap next. On the next screen, the tool will explain the need for the technician to use a memory saver during the battery replacement process. The memory saver can be plugged into the car's diagnostic port. It provides just enough voltage to maintain the computer's memory. This is not only important for obvious systems like radio presets, but it can prevent issues with electrical components and drivability problems that can stem from replacing a battery without a memory saver. Even something as simple as engine idle will not perform correctly after a battery replacement without the use of the memory saver. Engine idle is a learned value that will require time and driving to stabilize. The engine may not be able to maintain an idle and stall without warning after a power loss event. 
There will be times when Tex will have to replace a battery after a complete power loss condition, and this will prevent its own challenges. More on that later. The technician will replace the battery utilizing instructions on the previous screen. The tool will then ask the technician to verify the specifications of the new battery just in case there are minor differences. Autel recommends using the same specs or as close as possible to ensure the long-term reliability of the replacement. The tool will then perform an adaptive conductance test on the new battery to make sure that it is in optimal condition. Make sure the test leads are properly connected to the positive and negative terminals. Tap Start Testing and the tool will initiate the battery test. Once carried out, the tool will display the test results and the parameters related to the testing that we outlined earlier. Tap Next and we'll move on to the next step, battery registration. First, a word on battery registration. This is a requirement on many newer vehicles. As your battery gets older, it becomes less efficient and its ability to store energy and recharge diminishes. As the battery ages, the vehicle will increase the amount of current applied to recharge the battery and make sure it performs at optimal levels. The older the battery, the more aggressive charge it requires. Registering your battery lets your engine control module know that a new one is installed and as a result, the vehicle will reset the old battery statistics and won't try to overcharge the new battery, thinking the previous one is still installed. Failure to register the replacement will significantly shorten the battery's life expectancy to usually less than one year. Follow the instructions on the screen. Make sure your ignition switch is on and tap registration. The BT-608 can perform battery registration in one step. Autel's engineers have created a simpler way to execute registration that avoids the multiple step procedures required by some OEM service tools. The BT-608 will automatically tell the vehicle the date of installation, mileage, and replacement battery specifications. This information would need to be entered manually with most other battery registration solutions. After registering the new battery, the tool will ask you if the power was disconnected during the replacement. If this is the case, the tool will guide you through the steps required to ensure that all systems will function properly after being reset during a power loss condition. We are going to go into detail about the requirements for initializing vehicle systems in the next section. In this case, let's assume that the power remained constant during the replacement process. Once completed, the tool will produce a complete, fully detailed test report that outlines all of the results of the tests. The technician or shop manager has several options as to what to do with this data. It could be printed directly from the tool using the BT-608's onboard printer or emailed to a PC to be printed in PDF format. The battery reset function on the tool will allow the technician to go directly to the steps required to perform battery reset and reinitialize systems that have been affected by the battery replacement or a power loss condition. First, be sure that the ignition is on and your VCI is connected to the vehicle's diagnostic port. After the tool identifies the application, it will ask you to select the current OEM battery equipment specification. It will display the information on the next screen for verification. Make any adjustments to the battery type, unit of energy measurement, or CCA rating for the replacement unit if required. Tap Next. The tool will then communicate with the vehicle to gain access to the battery management system and any systems that may have been affected by a power loss condition. There is no other product that will offer this combination of battery testing capability and diagnostic intelligence on one tool. After the menu appears, you can begin by performing a one-touch battery registration as we discussed in the previous section or choose electric appliance reset. Let's choose electronic appliance reset to restore the affected systems. We are currently servicing a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. The item we see at the top that will need to be reinitialized is the sunroof. There is a learned value required so that the tilt and slide will work correctly. Tap Sunroof Reset and the initialization procedure is displayed. You will need to perform a long press on the sunroof switch for the system to reset. 
It will cycle through all its operational positions until it settles into a fully closed position. After we've completed the process, we'll tap Finish. The tool will then display the previous screen and we'll tap Miscellaneous Functions. This particular vehicle is equipped with an advanced driver assistance system. The lane departure system on this vehicle uses a forward-facing optical camera mounted near the rear view mirror to monitor the vehicle's position in the lane and alert the driver if they unintentionally deviate from the intended path of travel. There is also a radar unit mounted behind the front grille that monitors the vehicle's closing distance and speed from objects in its path. The radar system will alert the driver of an impending collision with an obstacle and give him or her time to react. These systems need to be reset manually after a battery replacement. It is important that repairers are able to maintain the integrity of the safety systems after servicing the vehicle to ensure that the customer can drive off safely after repairs are complete. This vehicle requires a drive at a consistent speed of 35 miles per hour for a period of time to reset the system. The tool also provides some notes on emissions monitors as the vehicle will not be able to pass an emissions inspection unless they drive approximately 70 miles so the vehicle can perform its self-tests on the emission system. An emissions inspection performed before this will result in a failure and the vehicle declared not ready to pass. In addition to battery testing, charging system diagnostics, battery registration, and reinitializing components, the BT-608 goes even further by providing technicians the ability to read and clear codes and descriptions from all vehicle systems. View live data and freeze frame data, which provides detailed information related to the vehicle conditions when a trouble code occurs. Let's jump right into it. You can utilize communication with the vehicle through the VCI to establish the year, make, and model, or enter the application manually. Let's choose AutoVIN to detect the vehicle's make, model, and year. After identifying this vehicle as a 2008 Audi A4, the tool asks us to select a powertrain option. You can find this information on the car's exterior badging or under the hood on a build sticker. Most cars only have one or two choices. This vehicle is sold in many markets, leading to many options and power ratings. We'll select the ALT 2.0 Motronic 96 kilowatt. After the application has been established, the tool will display three options. AutoScan will perform a complete system scan, checking every module or computer in the car for codes. Simpler cars can be equipped with 10 or 12 modules while more sophisticated European vehicles can have up to 70. CAN Gateway Scan can provide a topology map that tells technicians how the vehicle systems are networked together so they can communicate with each other and manage the operations of many vehicle systems. Control Unit will allow us to go directly to a specific module to check on an issue. For instance, if the car has an ABS light on, we can go directly to that system to avoid spending time on an auto scan. If a code is displayed in the module, you can tap on it to see more information, including the actual code and a description of the malfunction. Tapping on the blue snowflake will enable you to view freeze frame data. This is a snapshot of some of the vehicle's operating conditions at the time the code was set. We can use this information to reproduce the symptoms or draw conclusions about the condition that caused this code to set. Some examples of data saved in the freeze frame are date, time, speed, and engine RPM. Let's go back to the main menu, and instead of selecting AutoScan, we'll choose Control Unit. We are then presented with a complete list of all the available controllers in the vehicle. The technician can quickly access an individual module to view codes, freeze frame data, or live data. Let's choose the engine control module. We are presented with three options after we select the engine control module. ECU information will give us the part number and manufacturer information related to the controller. We can access trouble codes with the next selection and gain access to live vehicle data by selecting the third. Let's tap live data. 
Each vehicle system provides the technician with output data in real time related to the system. Depending on the specific item, a sensor could report a temperature, a speed, or a voltage related to its operation. As an example, we can use live data to identify systems whose output information indicates that it's operating outside of the recommended range. Technicians can use this information as clues when diagnosing a faulty component or wiring issue. Autel takes the BT608's capability even a step further by adding a proprietary multimeter software suite that can measure electrical values while performing complex vehicle diagnostics. The multimeter test leads are an optional accessory and are sold separately. This is a tremendous value as multimeters alone can sell for several hundred dollars. One of Autel's top priorities when we design any of our products is the ability to store and review vehicle test record data whenever necessary. Whether performing a battery or charging system related operation or diagnostics, the BT-608 will store detailed records of the procedures performed on each vehicle, along with relevant diagnostic data, including trouble codes. You can use the data manager to reference prior repairs and print reports or email them to a point of sale system or directly to the customer. Workshop information allows you to customize the reports with your repair shop's name and address and contact information for customer reference later. The images option allows you to view photos or screenshots taken with the tool's onboard camera. PDF will allow you to view any PDF files stored on the tool. Data logging is especially useful as it will allow you to report a software bug or issue to Autel Engineering for repair in a future update. This section allows users to track the status of any data log submitted to Autel for review. Remote Desk provides a means by which Autel tech support or fellow technicians can log into the tool and operate it remotely. Autel's technicians can guide users through each step of the service process and help with complex issues. It is also worthwhile when recruiting the help of another technician at a different location to weigh in on a diagnosis or repair. The BT-608 settings menu allows you to access any systems related to the operation of your BT-608 tool. Within this menu, you can find the Bluetooth pairing menu. This will help you connect the wireless vehicle control interface to ensure seamless operation. There is also an option to activate the functionality on the amp clamp accessory. This is an optional accessory that enhances the capability of the BT-608 by adding electrical current measurement to the charging system test. I want to provide some tips for sales teams related to engaging customers in conversation about the advantages of the BT-608 and how it can benefit their business. Sometimes asking the right questions is the key to identifying the needs of a customer and providing a solution. Ask the customer if he or she performs battery registration. Explain that without registration, many batteries will fail prematurely, leading to an increase in defect exchanges and dissatisfied customers. After replacing a battery, how do you deal with situations where the electrical components stop working properly? Are you advising them to go to the dealer? Did you know that when a dealer installs a battery, the customer incurs additional charges related to battery registration and component initialization? When a customer arrives at the shop with a dead battery, does your current test equipment ask you to charge and retest a battery? Ask them if they perform check engine diagnostics. The BT-608 can provide solutions to all of those questions, including the ability to perform basic diagnostics. One of the best ways that we can convey the merits of our tool is to offer a demonstration period and let the technician discover the benefits of Autel's automotive intelligence. The true potential of our product is best recognized when integrated into daily shop operations. A demo period is a great low pressure sales strategy for introducing a tool. Shop owners have nothing to lose by giving it a try. Most often the customer will choose to purchase the tool rather than to return it.
One of the most important items that we need to discuss today is the requirement that the BT-608 is registered and updated before its initial use. Autel releases software updates so frequently that much of the software is not preloaded on a brand new tool. Upon delivery, it is important to assist the customer or impress upon them that the tool must be registered and updated. As salespeople, it's especially important to us that our customers have the best initial experience when using the tool. Registering and updating will accomplish just that. Let's walk through the process. Be sure that you connect the tool to a Wi-Fi network and tap the update button. Enter your email and select a password. The tool will then send you a verification code in an email which you will have to enter on the tool. Before continuing, many of our customers already have Autel products and can add the BT-608 to their existing account by entering their email and password. After entering the information, tap Sign In. Once signed in, the registration page will automatically populate the tool's serial number and register password. Tap register. Before we conclude the presentation, I want to go through some of the many sources of training, product information, and resources we have available. Visit autel.com for information related to the BT-608 and our complete product line. This encompasses diagnostics, battery testers, TPMS, ADOS, and key programming. Many training videos are also available to enhance your understanding of different topics. We offer a complete line of products that are sure to meet the demands of your most discriminating customers. Another great resource is the Autel Tools YouTube channel. One of our biggest initiatives as a company is producing and sharing weekly videos that highlight different products, features, technical training, and showcasing the innovations that we're most proud of. We offer hundreds of videos on our channel. A customer may ask you as an Autel dealer, about a product you're unfamiliar with. Get up to speed on all our products at Autel Tools YouTube page. Finally, let's talk about tech support. It has long been established by Autel that our most valuable product that we offer is our willingness to support our customers. Our New York headquarters houses a 40 strong team of technicians specializing in every area of vehicle service and repair. Contacting us will give you access to a technician that is specially trained in the area related to your specific inquiry, whether it be battery testers, diagnostics, TPMS, or others, we have the answers. Call us Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can reach us for inquiries related to tech support, warranty services, or general inquiries. Give us a call at 1-855-AUTEL-US. We can also be reached by live chat 24 hours a day. This is especially useful for fleet customers or municipalities that are performing periodic maintenance at night. So the vehicles are all available during the day. Visit autel.com to access our live chat. Lastly, you can reach us by email at ussupport at autel.com. We'll get back to you right away. Thank you for choosing Autel Diagnostics. We remain dedicated to bringing the most advanced, innovative diagnostic products that will carry your business into the future. Thanks for joining us.